technology a reflection of our times efficient computerized with a sleek beauty all its own technology is the human imagination converted into reality but as technology advances we always find time to laugh, perhaps too hard, at pictures of machines, those products of our minds and times, making us look ridiculous, befuddling us, frustrating us. Funny, isn't it? Watching technology take a step backward. Watching machines break down in old time movies always seems to tickle us. Perhaps it tickles us because we'd rather not think about the problems of machines breaking down in our day and age. For we have become a people, indeed a whole world, dependent upon the technology, the enormous, sophisticated, complex technology that we have created. Yet, despite our depending on it, most of us know next to nothing about how it works or how it fails to work. We, all of us, are caught up in a, a real world, a place somewhere between the space technology and the diabolical machines of the silent movies. There are no uh, space shuttles in that world, no tin lizzies either. But there is the technology that we so very much take for granted. Certainly from time to time we know that our cars may not work. We may not have maintained them properly. Or that a hot water heater won't give us our share of hot water. We may not have taken care of it. Oh. Or that an electrical appliance will short out. We may have overloaded the circuit. Of course, these are just little problems. They only cause anger and frustration. But what's really important is that they point out the larger responsibilities and potential dangers that are tied in with the technological world. Perhaps you've read or heard about the pioneer days. Technology didn't present many problems then. forefathers grew their own food, supplied the materials to furnish their own heat and light, and got their own water from a stream or well. Life was much simpler then.
but that was a long time ago. Ironically, we can still see traces of some of those early homesteads which fell victim to a lack of technology. Today, many of us have no idea where our food comes from, have no idea how or where our electricity and gas arrive, have no idea where our drinking water comes from. We only see the last step, the supermarket, the switch, the knob, the faucet. But the actual source of energy to run our industrial world remains a vast, mysterious system which somehow seems to work, but which many of us don't really understand. For so many fundamental needs, we depend upon things beyond ourselves, things over which we seem to have no control. Yet on an individual level, though there is little we can do to repair or maintain the systems which are so important to us, there is much we can do to deal with the particular dangers our technological world may hold. Perhaps the most wide-ranging technological failure in man's history was the famous blackout which struck the New York City area on November 9, 1965. A massive power failure that caused a great city to come to a grinding halt. Contrary to the popular notion that people panic during emergencies, the simple fact is, they don't. During the blackout, people stayed calm and helped each other overcome an incredible technological disaster. Less dramatic than a blackout, but a situation in which individuals can be of great help, is a brownout, a planned cutback in electrical power. During such a period, Individuals can work to prevent a large-scale power failure by not using convenience electrical items like dishwashers, record players, or power tools, by turning off air conditioners, by not using more lights than necessary, and by turning out lights when leaving a room. Fire, another technological disaster during which individuals may be called upon to take quick action. Conventional wisdom suggests putting water on a fire. But in many cases, this is exactly the wrong thing to do. With an electrical fire, be sure to turn the electricity off before applying water. If the electricity cannot be turned off, smother the fire with sand or CO2 from a fire extinguisher. The same goes for grease and oil fires. And in the case of gas fires, Shut off the burners if you can. Get out, then call the fire department. Gas can cause explosions and more fires. If you have turned the gas flow off, water, sand, earth, or wet blankets will all be useful in putting out the remaining fire. Yes, our wonderful world of technology can be an exciting one, and quite often beautiful and awe-inspiring. Yet, technology places new burdens on all of us. Burdens our grandparents never dreamed of. Without electricity, for example, there could be no electrical fires, no blackout for that matter. When something like the New York City blackout happens, it vividly demonstrates how technology has dwarfed most individuals, how it has separated them from basic necessities made the getting of these necessities as impersonal as turning on a faucet. Still, no matter how impersonal technology may seem, it forces very personal responsibilities on the people who benefit from it. 
the individual can help himself and his community by taking these responsibilities seriously and in knowing how to deal with the special problems technology presents. The point is that our advanced and advancing technology can be oh, presenting new and exciting possibilities which can be of enormous benefit to man. But along with these possibilities come new dangers, new responsibilities. Today it is vital to learn enough about these new dangers to be able to make a reasonable action decision when we are confronted with them.